start by creating an order. This type of tray can be ordered either for an upper or a lower jaw. In our example, we are choosing an upper jaw. Click the Appliance button and then the Customized Impression Tray button. Now choose the material type. Remember to select the appropriate object type for the order, either Impression or Plaster Model. Click Scan to start the scanning process, or OK if you have already scanned an impression. For our example, we will now import the scan. After importing, we will proceed to the design stage. Click Next to move to the surveying and blocking out step. At this point, choose an insertion direction by placing the model in the correct position and click the Set From View button. Wax will be applied automatically to block the undercuts. Move to the Wax Trimming step by clicking Next. Here you can trim or add additional wax if it is necessary. When you are ready, click Next. To design the impression tray, you need to place the spline to mark the tray's boundary. Make sure to place the borderline 2 to 3 mm shorter than the deepest point of the mucolabial fold. As soon as the border is finalized, right click on any blue point and activate the Show Local Cross section. With this option, you can easily control the spline over the border position. Here you can also add a relief zone for any places which can be harmful for a patient. Click Next to move to the finalized step. Our example includes a plaster model with healing abutments. This is why we need to make the openings for impression transfers. To do that, from the Attachments menu, we will choose Impression Coping Well Global. Place it where the healing caps are. Make sure that the axis of the impression coping well is parallel to the insertion direction of an implant. Make the 3D bite plate less visible and use the control points to position it correctly. Also, we advise choosing the 2D cross-section and checking, after placing an attachment, if the impression coping well is placed in the right position. Continue placing coping wells for each implant. Now you can add a handle, which will be used while inserting or removing the impression tray into or from the patient's mouth. To do that, choose the type of a handle you wish to add. In our example, we will use Handle Angled. Place the chosen handle and modify its position and shape. Select any of the control points to tilt the handle or to make it wider, smaller, higher, etc. When this is done, click Next. The pre-manufacturing step lets you set the perforation settings, which is useful when using alginate for taking the impression. It creates the retention. Also, it helps in getting rid of the excess material. Choose the preferred size for the whole diameter and press Preview to view the results. Click Next to move further. At the Save step, you can view the impression tray. The design is now completed and saved. Click Close to go back to the Dental Manager. At this stage, you can preview the ready designs of the impression tray and send it for manufacturing.